Hello friends, welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie if you're new here. Today we're going to be doing some Christmas decorating, which I'm so excited about. I'm just putting together a little breakfast, then I'm going to drop Timmy off at dialysis. I'm going to come back home and decorate my hutch, which you know is one of my favorite things to decorate and I think it's one of yours too. I'm using the last of our Thanksgiving ham in this omelet here. It was so, so good. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again today. Before we get started, I do want to thank Govi for sponsoring today's video. Govi reached out and wanted to send me their smart air purifier and also their smart air quality monitor. So you guys may remember this past summer we had some pretty severe issues with humidity causing water damage in our master bedroom. The flooring in there had to be ripped up, new subfloor put down, and although we've taken steps to prevent that from happening again, I still worry all the time about further moisture and water damage occurring in our home. So having this smart air monitor has given me a little peace of mind because it's telling me exactly how much humidity is in my home from one room to the next because this monitor not only checks for impurities in the air, it also tells me the temperature and it'll tell me the exact humidity in that room. I really like that they give you this colored light here on the monitor so that you can quickly see the air quality that's in your home. If you have a lot of impurity in your air, this light will turn red. A great thing about the Govi Smart Home ecosystem is that you can use the Govi app to set up your ideal air quality, temperature, and humidity levels. And then the Govi Air Quality Monitor monitors your living environment and commands the air purifier, humidifier, and heater to start and stop working automatically. Once you set your ideal values on the Govi app, the Govi Smart Home ecosystem will work automatically and provide you a safe and healthy living space for you and your family. I also love that my devices can be controlled through voice control with my Alexa or if you have Google Home, you can use that as well. Not only does it have low, medium, and high, but it also has sleep mode. See if you can hear the difference between the fan on high and in sleep mode. So while you're sleeping, it's super quiet. You're getting a good night's sleep and the purifier is cleaning the air, making it safe for you and your family. With the Govy app, you can set a timer for this to automatically power on and off all by itself. You don't have to remember to do it. It was very simple to set up the app and connect my devices to it. I'm going to show you how I did that. Once installed, click the little plus sign at the top to add device. And then you'll go through the list of products and find the device that you have. Click on that and then it'll ask you to set up an account if you don't already have one. Once you're signed in, it'll ask you to connect the device to Bluetooth. You'll see the little light lit up on the control panel. And then all you have to do is press the power button and you're connected. As I press start here, you can see that this tissue paper is being blown around by the air coming out of the top. I find it so helpful and convenient that I can control all the functions of the air purifier right from my phone. I can turn the night light on and off, which the night light, let me just say, I love that feature <laughs> all on its own. You can even control the brightness level. As I said earlier, you can even schedule it so that it will turn on and off at certain times of the day, certain days of the week. As I change the different fan levels on my phone, you can see it changing here on the top of the control panel. One thing I really like about this smart air purifier is it's going to help me with the dust bunnies. Guys, you know I struggle <laughs> with dust. It just appears overnight in mass and this thing is going to help me with that. Not only will it capture dust particles in the air, but it also captures hair, lint, pet fur, and dander. All the little things floating around in the air that you don't want to be breathing in. This is going to help capture all of that within the filter. So when this big fella gets pet hair everywhere, it can help me collect that out of the air. Again, I want to thank Govy for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to drop a link in the description box below so that you can learn more about the Govy Smart Home Ecosystem Discount. These products would also make a wonderful Christmas gift for somebody on your list this year. In today's video, we're going to be decorating my hutch for Christmas. As you can see, I did already put the garland up on the top and I just left some of my white dishes on there. I tend to always decorate with my white dishes and then add other pieces, um, other seasonal pieces in with it. Before we get started, I do want to show you a couple of things I picked up while out thrifting that wasn't in my Christmas thrift haul. And the first one is this sweet little chubby Santa Claus. I thought he was so cute. He's a cookie jar. 
Um, he's got a little candy cane in his hand over here and then his hat lifts off. And I currently have all my little instant coffee pods in there. Great place to hide those and store them. But um, I just thought he was really cute. He's got a cute little face, the kind of glare on it, but I've got to finish cleaning the tag off. It says on the tag below that it was from Hobby Lobby and he was originally $30. I picked him up for $6 at the thrift store. So that's a pretty good deal. This piece actually was in my previous thrift video, but I didn't buy it that day. Um, after looking at it while I was editing the videos, I was like, I know what I could do with that. So I actually went back and got it. It did have a little floral thing right here, but I took it off because I'm gonna put like some berries and greenery in there. Um, the candle does work in it. Well, it worked until I ran the battery dead. But I only gave $3.99 for this. I think that was an excellent price at Goodwill. I think I'm going to put it on my kitchen island when I put the little... I've got a little, like, greenery wreath. Actually, it's right here. Let me show you. This, I'm just going to stick it on there. It fits perfectly. And then I'm going to stick some, like, little red berries in there. I think that'll be really pretty on my kitchen island. However, it does make a mess. <laughs> All right, let's get started decorating this hutch. I'm gonna use this rosy all-purpose cleaner and the lemon scent. I got this from Thrive Market and I really like it. I'm gonna wipe down all the shelves, but first I'm gonna take everything off so we can get it nice and clean. It hadn't been dusted in a minute, so you'll see that it's a little bit dusty. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get that all clean and then we'll get started decorating the hutch. I'm always a little sad to take down all of my pretty fall decor. Y'all know decorating for fall is one of my favorite things. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting all my Christmas stuff up. Something about the Christmas lights twinkling at night always makes my heart happy. And decorating my hutch for any season always brings me a lot of joy, even when it's dusty. What better place to start than with these beautiful little plates? I got these last year at the Target dollar spot. I believe they were $5 each and I picked up two of them. They're still two of my favorite things. I always like to layer my decor, whether it be with cutting boards or books or maybe a tray. Right here I'm going to use this large cutting board. I had to move this platter for the time being because it was sticking out a little too far. But on top of here I'm going to put this little white house. This was one of my favorite purchases last year and it's probably still my favorite. I just love the glistening snow on top and the little wreath in the middle, especially when it's turned on and lit. I have a little collection of these Santa mugs. I'm very picky about them. <laughs> I like ones that faces look, you know, realistic and cute. So I'm very particular. So my collection is not that big. I'm pretty sure this little bow is from Target Dollar Spot as well. And I thought maybe it'd be cute if I stuck one of these little bottle brush trees in it. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube stick these little trees, even inside the Santa mugs. And it usually looks really cute. If you watched my fall Hobby Lobby 75% off shopping video, then you would see that I picked up four of these green little glasses. I don't know if you call them goblets, glasses, I don't know. But <laughs> I thought they were really pretty for not only fall, but for Christmas season and also even into spring. This is another little thrifted um, cutting board. I believe this one is from Hearth and Hand. I cleaned the sticker off and now I'm going to put this sweet little Santa Claus here on the bottom shelf. Now I'm just going to play around with some of my dishware, some bowls and plates, and my little pictures with wooden spoons in them until I get things just the way that I like them. by now seems we're running late let's put the food on the table fast as we're able guests start coming at eight when we're caught in the christmas rush it's so easy to lose touch with the true meaning of things and what really Shine. 
shine on. Last year I thrifted these cute little Santa Claus plates from Goodwill. They were originally from Dillard's and they were brand new when I got them and I think they're just so cute. One of them, Santa is eating cookies by the fireplace with his little cocoa, I assume. And then on this one, looks like he's working in his toy shop. And I really wanted to hang these on the side of my hutch like this. But of course they're just plates, they don't have a hanger on the back. And I had seen um, Lisa on Farmhouse on Boone use these to hang plates with on her walls. And I ordered these from Amazon. Um, it says the original invisible disc plate hanger. I'm not sure what the company name was. I've had these for a while. Um, but it says direct directions for use is first clean the back of the plate even if new. Rinse completely, allow to dry. Using your fingers, mix a little water into the glue on the disc. Okay. Um, really work the glue up, being careful to not rinse any of the glue off the disc. Leave for three to seven minutes until the glue is sticky. Apply the disc to the plate, ensuring that the ring is in the correct position. That is something I would do is put it on and it not be in the right place. <laughs> um, press firmly and rub well to expel any air. Allow it to dry overnight. Before hanging the plate, test the strength of the adhesive by pulling firmly on the ring. So you gotta let it sit overnight. I'm a, a instant gratification kind of girl, so it's gonna be hard for me to leave it alone till tomorrow, but we'll do it. All right, so I'm gonna clean the back of these plates really good. And then apparently we work some water into the glue and stick it to the plate. Let's do that. I scrubbed the plates really good and now I'm just wetting the back of these and rubbing in the glue so that it gets nice and sticky. And then you're supposed to let it set for three to seven minutes before we stick it on the plate. It's time to stick them on and it's very important to make sure you line it up with the center of whatever the design is on the front of the plate. I went by the little label here in the middle since it was center with the top of the plate where I wanted it and just slid it straight up and it was very easy. And of course there are other ways to hang plates on the wall. You could buy the little plate hangers, the little gold. Um, they kind of stretch and go around the plate. I'm not sure exactly what you call them. Plate hangers, I guess. Um, I've also seen people hot glue like the tabs from Coke cans onto the back of plates. Whatever your, your method is, I'm sure it will be fine. I wanted to use these because I want them to be nice and secure and don't want to have to worry about them falling off the wall. All right, I have the hangers on the back, and it was really easy by just lining it up with the label on the back of the plate. If it doesn't have a label, it might be a little more difficult for you to get it perfectly straight. Um, but this made it pretty easy, I thought. So we're going to let these set overnight, as the directions say. We're not going to get in a hurry and go and hang them on the wall, which is what I really want to do. <laughs> but I'll wait the 24 hours. All right, friends, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed our little decorate with me. And let me know what your favorite part is about the hutch decorations. I hope you guys are also enjoying decorating your homes for the holidays. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be my Christmas tree decorate with me. I'm so excited to get started on that one.